using understanding logarithms. In this lesson, we'll go over what logarithms are, why and where they are used, how to convert logarithms to exponentials and vice versa. I'd like you to consider these two pictures of these two women side by side. These two pictures are of the same woman, just arranged differently. In algebra, we have an equation here in standard form, 4x minus 5y equals 20. We can convert that into a form that's more to our advantage to graph by just rearranging it, which in slope-intercept form becomes y equals 0.8x minus 4. Those equations don't look too much alike, but they are the same. But it's to our advantage. And with exponential functions and logarithms, it's very similar. And let's consider the similar the simple exponential equation below. We have 10 to the power of 3 equals x. To solve it is as easy as 10 times 10 times 10. So x would equal 1,000. Now let's say that instead of knowing the exponent 3 that it's unknown and that we know the answer 1,000. A logarithm that can solve for x is created by taking the base of the exponent 10 and making that the base of the logarithm, or log for short. And so this becomes log base 10 of x equals 1,000. But we, swat, we switch places between the x and 1,000. So this is the final version of the converted equation. Log base 10 of 1,000 equals x. And let's compare with the original equation here. Because of the tradition of algebra, a log base 10 is just called a log and is the common log. If you punch log 1,000 on your calculator, what do you get? Well, log of 1,000 equals 3. You get 3 because 10 to the third power equals 1,000. And these are very useful when you know the base and the result and you want to find the exponent. Now let's look at the following logarithmic equation and change it to an exponential function. But first we need to ask ourselves why we would want to do that. Well, what, what's happened is we don't have uh, x by itself. We want to get x by itself to make it easier to solve. So we make, convert this to log base 10 of x and switch places. So log base 10 of x equals 5.5 is converted to 10 to the power of 5.5 equals x. And so now we can solve that in our graphing calculator, and we get uh, over 316,000. And we can check it by taking the log of, of uh, 316,000, and we see that it does equal 5.5. And now let's try one with a different base. Log base 2 of x equals 12. The base of the log 12 becomes the base of the exponent, and the 12 and the x trade positions. And so here we have it rewritten. And so we can just solve more easily for x. 2 to the power of 12 equals 4,096. Now let's try one more. Log base 6 of x equals 4. I'd like you to stop the video and try to set it up and see if you can solve it yourself. Then restart it to see if you figure it out. We make 6 the base and swap the x and the 4, so it becomes 6 to the power of 4 equals x, and so that becomes 1,296. Now this is simple with practice. One thing to remember is if you see the log without a base, it just means that that base is 10. You can just write it in a 10 to remind you of that. Now it becomes the base 10 to the power of 4.5 equals x. And here we see it calculated at 31,623. Let's say that we have an exponential equation where we know the base and the answer, but the exponent is unknown. Here we have 10 to the power of x equals 1 million. We can make 10 into the log base 10, or just log, and swap the x and the 1 million. And here we do that below. And now it's a lot easier to calculate. So we go to our calculator, log of 1 million equals 6. And this tells us that 6 is the power. 10 needs to be raised to in order to equal 1 million. Now let's try another one. We have 3 to the power of x equals 200. We could solve for x by substituting different numbers for x until we got 200. 
And here I've tried already, 3 to the power of 4 equals 81. Well, that's below 200, so that's too low. 4 is too low. 3 to the power of 5 is 243. Well, that's above 200, so that's too high. And so I could keep on trying numbers between 4 and 5 to get closer and closer, and eventually we would. But the problem is I might become a very old man just working on this problem. It's an irrational number. It can go on. We can get very close, but it'll take a very, very long time. Yeah, but fortunately, there's a fast way to do this, and it's by converting exponents to logs. Now let's convert the exponential equation below to a logarithm equation by making 3 the base of the logarithm and swapping the x and the 200. And so here we've done that. So log base 3 of 200 equals x. And so we can solve for x a lot easier. We don't have to get too old to do it. But uh, if we look at our graphing calculator, where is the log base 3 key? All we have is the log key, which is base 10. Fortunately, there's something called a change of base formula to help us out. And here is the change of base formula. It means if you have a log of a certain base of, of x in this instance, you can convert it by taking the log of what you're taking the log of to a certain base by the log of the base to the new base. And so we can use that change of base formula. We take log of 200 and divide it by the log of 3. And that would be the log base 10 of 200 divided by log base 10 of 3. And here in our calculator, we do that, we get 4.82. And we can check our answer by taking 3 to that power. And we do indeed get 200, so that's our answer. Worked out a lot better than getting really old, didn't it? Let's try another one. We have 15 to the power of x equals 755. I'd like you to stop the video and see if you can do this yourself. And start it to see if you got, got it right. Okay, let's rewrite this as a logarithmic equation. We have log base 15 of 755 equals x. And we can use our change of base formula. That uh, would be log of 755 divided by log of 15, and we get uh, 2.447. So we can check our answer, and 15 to that power of 2.447 equals 755. So to summarize, if you have a number to the power of an unknown equals a number, you can solve for x by making the base of the exponent the base of the log, then switching the x with that number on the right. From here, you can use the change of base formula by dividing log 16 by log 12. And a second situation, if you have the log of an unknown number is equal to a number, place x on the right and make the base of the log the base of the exponent on the left and raise it to the power of the number that was on the right. So this log base 5 of x equals 20 will become 5 to the power of 20 equals x. I hope this video has been instructive. Thanks for visiting.